All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James hanging out with my buddy Payman. You can check out his awesome YouTube channel in the description below. And right now, we are off the coast of Abu Dhabi in this traditional pearl diving boat. What's the plan today? So the plan is to do a pearl diving adventure, like what they did 50, 60 years ago, and hopefully find some pearls for me and you, and then also do some fishing, cook some fish, and just enjoy the food on the boat. Today's video is a super special occasion. So make sure to watch all the way until the end because not only are we going pearl diving and eating some incredible food on this traditional boat off the coast of Abu Dhabi, we're going for a second round of extreme seafood dinner delight too. Right underneath the one and only Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. But first up, we're meeting with Major Ali, the boat captain. Assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So this is really good, huh? <laughs> this is amazing. And it's so nice to meet with Major Ali and he's going to show us the pearl diving. And we're going to cook up some fish too, right? Absolutely. So, you know, these boats historically, they'd go out for days, weeks, sometimes months. So it was self-sustaining. You had to go pearl diving, you had to fish, and then you had to cook and eat. Oh, they just started to sing the traditional songs. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they singing for good luck? Yeah, for good luck and also uh, to make them more happy. More happy? Yeah. To raise the spirit? Yeah. Yes. Oh. And if you, if you hear what he's saying, always, you know, connecting with God. With God? Yeah, he said, you know, Mawla, Isahil Alina, which God make it easy for us. Also, they are saying to the bear, because the bear crossing, they said, God, he give the bear food. Please, God, give us the same like a bear. You know? Like a bear? <laughs> like a bird. Like, bird. A, like a bird? Like a bird. Because, like yeah. a bird. So yeah. give us the same, the same. same happiness and yeah. amount of food yeah. and luck. Yes. So here we go, guys. We're going to test the ground. Whether it's uh, suitable. Yeah, one. Six, six, six meter. Six meter. Is it good or no? Yeah. You see that? So they had a little bit of mud on it. Yeah. So, so he liked it. The first one had a lot of mud on it. So he's like, we can go a little bit further. He yeah. went literally, what, a few meters further? Yeah. And he likes this area. Good. So it looks like they're about to slow down, stop, and anchor. And now we're anchoring down, guys. We're gonna go pearl diving. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. And this is it. We're gonna watch how the pearl diving is done. So hopefully we'll get some pearls and then have a have a <laughs> seafood lunch. <laughs> wow. He's going in. And we're going. Yeah. He's going down now. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's got some pearls. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, so we got pearls here. To be bigger than this. But when they are doing pearl diving, you don't open because it's a bad luck. Oh, it's bad luck. Yeah, you wait until they finish. Wait until the end. Yeah, after you you open it. And the, the pearls are here. It's time to open the pearls. Time to see how them. lucky we are. Yeah. We're gonna open the pearls now. Nothing there. Oh! Oh! There it is. There it is. Look at that. Oh, got one pearl. Beautiful. That is beautiful. 
amazing. Nice, Pearl. Oh! And after opening up a couple more lucky pearls, it was time to feast. Wow. We are off the coast of Abu Dhabi on a pearl fishing boat. That is crazy. Oh, the food is ready. So that's mechbus. Yes. Traditional mechbus. Yeah. <laughs> you have an appetite, Trevor? Yeah, I can't wait to try that. So the way you do this is you fry the fish in a pan mm. with a lot of spices. Wow, that rice smells fantastic. Yeah. And then you basically take out the fish from the oil. The oil already mm. has a lot of spices in it. And then you add more spices and you cook the rice in that oil. Wow. And you put the fish back on top of it. Oh, is that is that a dried lemon in there? Yeah. It smells citrusy. And you can smell all the herbs, all those leaves, that herbal rich oh and look how look how soft that rice looks. Yeah, and you've got those curry leaves over curry there. Curry leaves, you oh got chilies. It also smells a little sweet. Yeah, you've got some garlic over there. So you've got saffron, you've got turmeric, you've got oh, coriander, yeah. garlic, onions. That's what paste, it's about. Uh, saffron. I mean there's so much in there. Oh. You've got black pepper. See that? Yeah. Local mech boost. Right on the right on the, yeah. right on the boat see here. This one? We we fight for this when we are here. Oh, oh you yeah. fight for the bottom, yeah. the sticky bit. The, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the crispy yeah. bit. Yeah. And as you can tell, the rice is also very soft. It's very mm. similar to like a paella. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks, yeah. yes. Yeah. Let's go in for it. So we've got the mech boost here, and yeah. you just use your hand, right? Yeah, yeah, so they gave us some spoons, but we're gonna... And we can, take, we can take some of that fish. What type of fish is this? This is Indian mackerel. Indian mackerel, and you can just take a chunk. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, and they gave you the tail side of it as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get some of that Indian macro and some of that mech boost. Wow. Mmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. That is mech boost. It is just incredibly powerful and fragrant. You can taste the citrusy from that lemon, full of spices. It's sweet as well, I think, from a bit of onion and uh, yeah. uh, the sweetness probably is coming from, from the onion. It probably mm. caramelized. Yeah. And became a little bit sweet. Mmm. Try to do same like I do, see? Oh, oh yeah. Squeeze into a ball. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's try that squeeze into a little mound of rice there. That's the way to do it. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You can have some dates with it as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Those look like premium extra soft dates. Let's try that. Oh. It just melts in your mouth like honey. This was honestly one of the coolest experiences off the coast of Abu Dhabi. And after finishing up with our amazing meal, we said thanks to Major Ali and made our way back to Dubai for a full on seafood feast for dinner. Wow, and now check this out. This is the Burj Khalifa right here, right? That's it, the tallest building in the world. Tallest building in the world and we're going for a seafood feast just right over here. Yeah. Let's go check it out. So this is probably the best seafood restaurant with, with a view. Wow, look at that. That, that is just amazing. It's so tall. It's grand. Yeah, you know, I always say, really, every time I look at it, I'm like, it, it's more beautiful every single time. Seriously, it's like a work it's of art. stunning. But this is it. It's called Samak, and Samak means the fisherman. Hi. Welcome. Hi, how you doing? Yes, Thank please. You. Look at this. So the style of restaurant that it is, is basically this. You've got oh, all types look at of this. fish and seafood and everything. Giant lobster. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. much seafood. Yeah, so you've got your, look at those. Those are like what type? Jumbo prawns? Jumbo prawns. Those, those are huge. And of course, you've got your mussels. Amazing. you got everything from crabs? Crabs. Hi. What you have Shark water. Hi. You different crabs. How's everything good? Thank you, good. Very good. Oh, and all these nice fish. So all Palm sorts of fruit, different fish. snapper. And all of these are indigenous to the Gulf over here. So you see even the names, Halwayu, Sherry. Like these are all local types of fish. Local fish. Local fish. Amazing. And then what about down here? So you've got this one, your lady fingers. So they deep fry this with batter, super oh, nice. Beautiful. And then you've got, of course, look at that squid. Look at that shine on that squid. And then this one is called Sultan Ibrahim. Again, it's uh, local to this area. Uh, they just like, Put some slices on it and then deep fry it. Really cool. Nice. But 
So why don't we get some local fish and maybe something nice like a big lobster. Okay. Look at the size of that. I think we should get a couple. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's the wow. So this is the snapper. Yeah. Snapper. Red snapper. Yeah, it's the best fish, yeah. For the, for the grill. From, from Dubai? From Dubai, yeah. Local fish. Local fish. Yeah. So the way they would do that uh, is they would Peter, slice it in half? One I can do for you one piece grill, butterfly. Another piece I can do for you fried without bone. Philippe and similar like a tipsy. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So we can have both? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we've got some delicious fish coming today wow. in Dubai, overlooking yeah. the Burj Amor, Khalifa. Snapper. Snapper and... Amor, Amor. Oh, oh, and it's all here. Oh, oh, look at that. We oh. are having seafood of your dreams. Oh, that's Red beautiful. Snapper, green. Grill, green. red snapper grill. Red snapper. Oh, oh wow, look at all this food. All right, so let's start with the main dish, oh. which is... Look at the color. Yeah, it's beautiful, so red snapper. Uh, spiced, so you could see that orange color on top, and then butterfly cut, grilled. And then look at this oh here. So these are the the black crabs, yeah, right? The black crabs, yeah. And he said this was in the Provençal sauce, right? Correct. That's it. So that is the hamur fish, the garopa, and they took out all the bones. They made it into fillets. It looks like they battered it and then they deep fried it. And I'm just loving it. We're right looking out over the Burj Khalifa, and this is the real joy right here. This is the this is the meaning of life right oh, here. Wow. Look at those beauties. Oh, wow. It's jumbo prawns. <laughs> jumbo prawns. We got six jumbo prawns. Look at the flesh. So this was also the Provençal sauce? It is. So the Provençal has lemon, butter, garlic, a little bit of coriander, salt, oh, pepper. And that's it. That is beautiful. Oh, we got so, so nice. much food. And then we got a couple appetizers here. Oh, and... Oh yeah, yeah. Let's not forget this. So this is the appetizer that we're going to have. Lady fingers. Fried lady fingers. And you can just pull the spine out and eat it, right? Yeah. And the head, you can eat the head. So a lot of people eat the head as well, you eat it whole. Oh, you just beautiful. throw away the spine and the tail. I'm Let's confused. go in for some of these jumbo prawns here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's got so Oh much man, juice. this is amazing here in Dubai. Oh, look at the flesh. Oh. Just look oh, at the size of that flesh. Nice. Look at that. You can oh. just oh bite right into that. So this <laughs> is cooked with a uh, lemon, butter, garlic, coriander, salt, pepper sauce. Oh, unbelievable. Together. On the grill. Or on the grill. Let's go in for Let's it. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. That is so good. Oh, wow. Yum. That is so flavorful. And the amount of flesh on there is out of this world. There's so much flesh. And we got six jumbo prawns. It's smoky. You can taste a little bit of citrus in there. Yeah. But it's mainly just buttery, smoky, and full of that ultra springy and juicy flesh. Let's get a claw. Okay. This is the ultimate setting for seafood. Mmm. Oh. That sauce. That Provençal sauce. It's fragrant. You can taste tomato and it's also a little sour. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of lemon in there for sure. Wow. So we should try this red snapper next. Oh, that flesh is so hot. Look at that. Oh, and you, you don't see any bones in there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that flesh is so soft, full of juice. It's actually just bursting with juice. Yeah. It's perfectly cooked. It's not dry, and the flesh just melts in your mouth. Slightly smoky, and it's just lightly spiced. You can really tell the flesh, the meat does all the talking. All the talking. <laughs> what an amazing day, Payman. Truly oh, my pleasure. breathtaking city. You guys gotta check out Payman's YouTube channel in the description and pinned comment below. I can't believe how beautiful this city truly is. Look, somebody told me if you want people to fall in love with Dubai, bring him to see the Burj Khalifa. And wow, look at that. Incredible. Thanks so much, guys.